In this video, we'll look at how to handle transcripts. I've already loaded a transcript from my database by double clicking on it. And now I can see this one's already been created. It has some time codes already added. A good rule of thumb is to add a time code every time speakers change, so from interviewer to interviewee. And then maybe every 10 to 15 seconds, you would add a time code while you're transcribing. And this will help you to initially get in time codes to your video, which are very important when it comes time to actually adding keywords to your transcript. When you begin to add keywords to your transcript, you will also begin to add time codes around exactly what you want to code. So that's something else to keep in mind. Now to add a time code, you must be in the transcript and you must be in edit mode. Once you're in edit mode, I can add a time code by pressing control T on my keyboard. So within my video, I'm going to get somewhere close to where I want to add a new time code. I will click here. I'll use control D to play my video and then I'll use control D again to stop the video exactly where I want to insert the time code. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to where we started. Now it's where I want it, where we started. And I'll hit control T. And now I've inserted a new time code. When you're adding time codes, if you get out of order, uh, Transdata will try to give you a warning. So let's say I had wanted to place this time code, but my cursor was actually here. When I hit Control T, it gives me this warning that your time code sequence is out of out of order. So then, just you know, check your cursor, replay the video, make sure you're stopping it at exactly where you want to place the time code, both in the transcript and in the video or audio file. After you've added time codes to your video, before you go on to the next video, you'll need to next video or transcript, you'll need to save your transcript. So you can do this by clicking the little disk icon here. Or if you accidentally forget and decide to switch transcripts, Transana will ask you, do you want to save it? So you click yes. Another thing I can do with Transana is have multiple transcripts up. So here we have a gisted transcript showing. And let's say I wanted to have the verbatim transcript showing. Or another way of doing this is maybe you had an English transcript and a French transcript. So I can right click on the second transcript and say open additional transcript. Here's another multiple transcript. So I can have the verbatim up. And I can right click and have an additional transcript showing. And as I play this video. I'm sleeping. I have to be up early the next day. And someone starts tapping me on the shoulder. It's my daughter. She's got a paper. She needs to print it every time she tries to print. So you can see how this could be very helpful in using two different types of transcripts.